Hello everybody, welcome back to a YouTube video of mine. This is gonna be a quick one. I have three super simple, comfy, and tasty breakfast recipes to share. Perfect for a cozy fall or winter morning. Also, today's ideas are being supported by Squarespace. All right, let's jump right into this. Here's how to make vegan French toast for one. Let me have a sip of my ginger water. Mm -mm -mm. In either a small to medium sized breakfast bowl or in a deep dish plate, combine some cornstarch and a splash of the non-dairy milk that you're going to be using in this recipe. Stir it thoroughly. Once the cornstarch has dissolved, pour in the rest of the milk. Then add a pinch of salt, a tablespoon of maple syrup, some vanilla. I love just using uh, a couple of these baking aroma drops. Also add a little bit of cinnamon. On the other side of the spoon there was some maple syrup left, so that's what this was. To a non-stick skillet, add some vegan butter. Let the butter melt on medium heat. As soon as the butter starts sizzling, grab a piece of bread, dunk it into the milk mixture, and let it soak in there for 10 to 15 seconds. Then place it into the pan and let it cook and get nice and golden brown in there. It takes around two to three minutes on each side. This makes enough for three small pieces of toast or two bigger ones. If you're missing like the, the sweet egg type flavor that French toast normally comes with, you could sprinkle a tiny bit of kalanamak, which is this black salt over your toast right before serving it. Personally, I prefer the vegan one much more, not just because it's vegan, but because I've never really been a big fan of that sweet egginess. Anyway, as you can see, I added some banana here, also some pecan, pe pecans, pecan nuts, and a bit of powdered sugar. I would recommend to add some vegan yogurt as well, or a bit of nut butter, or jam, I don't know, whatever you like. This next idea might sound a bit out there to some, but if you are a pumpkin enthusiast, you might want to give this a try. This is some sweet single serving pumpkin soup inspired by my pumpkin juice Harry Potter recipe from a couple years ago. To a small saucepan, add some cornstarch and a little bit of water and make sure to combine those two thoroughly. Then add some pumpkin puree, store-bought or homemade. I will have um, the video where I show you how I like to make, make my pumpkin puree linked down below. Next up, add some fresh lemon juice, vanilla, cinnamon, and some apple juice. Now whisk it all together and bring the heat up to medium high. Let it come up to a quick boil so that the starch can be activated, I guess. Let it simmer on medium for five to seven minutes. Stir it every once in a while and then that's pretty much it. Pour it into your breakfast bowl and then add your toppings. I went for a small amount of rolled oats, a sprinkle of chia seeds, some of this oat granola, and then also some more pecans. Pecans? H how do you say it? Let me know in the comments. Obviously the granola is going to get soft a lot quicker with the temperatures being higher, but still tastes super nice. It reminds me a lot of a crumble. Maybe also adding some frozen berries would be nice. On to the third breakfast. A bowl of quick rice porridge topped with crispy pan-fried tofu amongst other things. First off, measure out some rice flakes or flattened rice. I got this from the organic store, but you might also be able to find this at your local Indian food store. Add the flakes to your pot along with a heavy pinch of salt and some water. Give it a quick mix and then bring the heat up to medium high until it starts bubbling and then turn the heat to medium and let it simmer on there for around five to 10 minutes, stirring every once in a while. While that's happening, cut up some firm plain tofu. I would say half a block would be enough for one serving, but you know, I cut up the entire thing. Also cut up some raw veggies you wanna add to your bowl. I went for cherry tomatoes. Add the tofu chunks to a small to medium sized mixing bowl. 
add some cornstarch, some more salt, and other spices of your choice. Mix it all thoroughly and set that aside. Uh, because this next step is optional, right before the porridge was done, I added some small cut frozen vegetables to it. You know, something like frozen peas, frozen edamame works great. I also added some lemon juice to it, and then now onto the tofu. Bring a nonstick skillet with some oil to medium high. Fry the tofu for 6 to 10 minutes while stirring frequently so that all the chunks become golden brown from all angles. Since my pan is so small, I was only able to fry half the block, um, so just enough for one breakfast meal. I ended up getting rid of some of the excess oil by placing the tofu on some toilet paper for a bit. Last but not least, assemble everything. Top the rice porridge off with your desired toppings. I went for some black beans here. The chopped cherry tomatoes. And the tofu. Also added some hemp seeds. And a bit of sriracha. So yummy. Let me know if you try out any of these ideas. I love seeing your stories of the recipes that you make and recreate. It's my absolute favorite thing. Please keep them coming. I don't think I've ever gotten this many stories of a specific recipe that I have from the the pumpkin brownie recipe that i made in my halloween video you guys are amazing so thank you so much thank you also to squarespace for being my dear sponsor they're an amazing one-stop platform designed to help you create a cool website and host your business from it that's right, Squarespace doesn't just give you a huge variety of beautiful, award-winning website templates. They also, for example, help you create your email newsletters, your new logo, provide you with stats and analytics to help you grow your business even more, and a 24-7 customer service. I feel like everyone needs a website these days, whether that is for an online business, or for a food blog, to present your art portfolio, or your cool interactive CV. I personally love this pickle website, this design is my favorite thing. Also good to know all the content that you make on Squarespace you own. Start today, visit squarespace.com slash minarom or use the code minarom to save 10% on your first purchase. Thank you so much for being here, I will talk to you all very soon, goodbye.